Whoa, look at those knobbies. What kind of dirt bike is that? Hello, my friends, and welcome to Tom's Tinkering and Adventures. Well, as you can see, I have uh, got some new tires on my awesome adventure scooter here. Once I saw they had these knobbies available, and I think I paid $80 for the pair, I decided that I was going to go all out and make this thing into a true adventure scooter. I've grown really fond of this scooter. So these uh, big block knobbies look pretty aggressive on this thing. And of course, this thing has no ground clearance. And the suspension is just a couple inches and it's not very stout to begin with. But what the heck? I'm going to take this thing on a couple of little eh, gravel roads around here. It's nothing too challenging, but uh, you know what? Taking a scooter anywhere off the pavement is just a good time. So I'm going to get my stuff together. I'll throw the GoPro on and I'll take you all along. Sometimes an adventure is taking inappropriate machinery into inappropriate places. So let's see how she does today. All right. This is the one of the entrances to get onto uh, Otai Truck Trail. So we're gonna head over here. I got my backup ride right here. Did you bring a tow strap? I have a rubber band. All right, rubber band will do it. I think this thing is powered by a rubber band. It's some rough pavement here at the start. And then it turns into dirt. But this is nothing more than what they call a fire road. But as you can see, it's not great. And we're beyond the capabilities of a normal scooter. Only an adventure scooter could do such a ride as this. Actually, I've seen, uh, I saw a Toyota Prius out here at one time, so don't go thinking it's too much, but. I got uh, Jim in my rearview mirror standing on his pegs already, and I'm riding a scooter, so there you go. <laughs> the uh, suspension is terrible. I don't know as if the tires are doing a whole lot of anything for me. I could have aired them down a couple of PSI, and perhaps give myself a little bit better ride, but. I haven't been up here in a long time. Sometimes after a rain, it gets some very terrible washouts. But the good thing about being on two wheels is that you can go right around those, hopefully. some places here you don't want to mess up. There's no guardrails. And, uh, it goes down. <coughs> Excuse me. It goes down pretty severely. So if you come flying up to one of these corners and shoot off, uh, I don't know how well you can see it there, but it's a steep downhill. And like I said, after the rains, this thing can change significantly. You could have a washout where you didn't expect one. And there you go. I think Jim got sick of being behind me. He sped off ahead. I see him stopped up here. All right, we got a little bit of a uh, little bit of tower view here. I don't know how well y'all can see this here. Looking out over all of San Diego. And 
Tijuana. Not the most beautiful day, but not a terrible one either. I caught that. Well, it's been pretty fun going up, but now I know that I'm in for some fun going downhill. The difference between a scooter and a dirt bike is this thing has uh, no engine braking, free wheels downhill. So you have to be on the brakes going downhill all times. Whereas on a dirt bike, you could downshift it into, you know, first gear and kind of let your engine slow you down. So, uphill, a lot of fun. Downhill, not nearly as much fun. Especially since I'm concerned, like, the uh, front brake may get a little bit too much, bite, and then wash out on me. So, just got to be careful. Fortunately... The trail itself is in pretty good shape. This little road to go up to these towers that we were just at is in worse shape than the trail in my opinion. Up a, a little bit more challenging trail just to say I did it so I should have had the camera on on the way up but I'll take you all back down so you can kind of see what we're dealing with here Ooh. obviously a bit rougher than the rest of the road The suspension's not liking it, but it's doing it. So, I guess it'll go wherever you want to go. If you're crazy, um, talented, or stupid enough to do such a thing here. And I don't really want to say which one I am. But uh, there you go, adventure scooter back at it again. Ooh, we've got some little bit of rock crawling here. There you go. Cleared it. Yeah, downhill is not nearly the picnic it was going uphill. I'm not saying that this thing was a picnic to go uphill, but uh, downhill, no engine braking, and also I'm probably a little bit more comfortable riding motorcycles uphill anyway. I mean, obviously, you don't have to brake as much. You have gravity working for you. So, your gravity is working for me as far as improving my fuel mileage. But uh, it's definitely bringing me into the corners a little bit hotter. And with this thing, I don't really care to go into the corners all that hot to begin with. There you go, look at that. Really successfully navigated the, the mountain and uh, cruising on home here. These adventure tires work pretty decent on the highway as well, so no complaints. The scooter is still perfectly useful on-road and a little bit more useful off-road. Safely back home. 
she performed flawlessly. That's a lot of fun. Just being silly, doing stuff you ain't supposed to do on a scooter, so. Sometimes you just have to do stuff like that. All right, if you're enjoying my adventures, give me a thumbs up. Please leave a comment down below, and if you're not already a subscriber, please consider doing so. Thank you very much for watching. Get out there and find your adventure. Adios.